Hey everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining us on Turner Classic Movies tonight as we continue to celebrate the career of Oscar-winning actress Faye Dunaway with 24 hours of her films. From her breakout role in 1967's Bonnie and Clyde with Warren Beatty to her second Oscar-nominated performance in 1974's Chinatown with Jack Nicholson, Dunaway spent her early movie career working with Hollywood's hottest leading men in every sense of the word hottest. Our next film has Dunaway going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the most accomplished actors of the back half of the 20th century, Robert Redford. From 1975, it's Three Days of the Condor. The film is based on the James Grady novel Six Days of the Condor, but Hollywood had little use for those extra three days. The plot is complicated, but it's decipherable. Redford plays a researcher for the CIA. He reads books to look for secret plots and hidden messages but he becomes a hunted man when he inadvertently discovers classified information. Dunaway plays a photographer who may be willing to help Redford despite the fact that he has kidnapped her. Paranoia and distrust of the government was a timely theme in 1975 thanks to Watergate, which came right on the heels of Vietnam. At the time, Redford was beginning work on the story of how the Washington Post broke Watergate, all the president's men. At the same time, he was shooting Three Days of the Condor. Dunaway wrote in her autobiography that the Condor set drew a lot of attention, including a visit from former CIA director Richard Helms. But what made Dunaway nervous was working with Redford and director Sidney Pollack. Redford and Pollack had already made several movies together. They had a great friendship, and Dunaway worried she might be an outsider. But she ended up, in her words, having great fun with those guys. And the movie remains one of her favorite films. It's one of mine, too, from 1975, also with Cliff Robertson and Max von Sydow, Three Days of the Condor.